Welcome back guys, if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well and in today's video, we will be comparing the two cloud providers AWS and IBM. But before that, we must understand what exactly a cloud service provider is. So basically, it's a third party company that offers the cloud based platform, infrastructure, application or storage related services much like a homeowner would pay for a utility like electricity or gas companies typically have to pay only for the amount of cloud services they use and this depends on the business requirements one of the greatest benefits of cloud computing is that it reduces the cost since businesses do not need to build their own it infrastructure or purchase hardware or any other type of equipment it helps companies to reduce the capital expenses significantly now let's compare the two so first let's talk about aws so aws stands for amazon's web services it is a cloud computing platform provided by amazon and aws launched it first it launched its first product in 2006 and as of 2022 aws provides over 200 products and services to over millions of active customers now let's talk about IBM. So IBM Cloud, formerly known as Bluemix, is a set of cloud computing services offered by the information technology company IBM, which stands for International Business Machines Corporation. And IBM released its first cloud product in 2011 and as of 2022, it provides over 119 cloud products. Now let's discuss the global availability of these cloud platforms. So services in the cloud are managed by having availability zones in each geographic locations called regions. And availability zones are isolated locations within each region. This is where the cloud provider operates and manages their services using data centers. Most of the time there will be two availability zones in each region where each zone has a redundant and separate power, networking and connectivity to reduce the likelihood of two zones collapsing simultaneously. AWS Cloud spans 84 availability zones within 26 geographic regions around the world whereas IBM deploys workloads in 19 availability zones within 6 regions globally. Now let's discuss about the types of services offered by these cloud providers. So both AWS and IBM offer all three service types which includes infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. So infrastructure as a service provides services such as compute, storage, networking over the web while platform as a service help users to build, maintain, operate and utilize different sort of sorts of applications. What well, software as a service is a, allows users to connect and to use a variety of cloud-based apps over the internet. Now let's talk about the customers. So Netflix, Twitch, LinkedIn and Facebook are some of the customers of AWS, whereas Coca-Cola, American Airlines and the weather company are a few customers of IBM. That brings us to the end of this video regarding AWS and IBM. I hope you understood something and if you like the video, make sure to share it, subscribe to my channel and hit that like button as well.